Hey Lipsy Guns fans, it's Jason and Dale here and we just got back from the range ringing out the brand new Smith & Wesson Equalizer. Now this pistol is the next iteration of the EZ series and it, it involves a double stack magazine, optics ready, and it's still easy to rack, easy to load with the included mag loader. And I tell you what, this gun, it shot awesome. It shot unbelievably, uh, Jason. It's very, very smooth. I thought that the operation of the gun with the easy pullback slide and everything was really gonna be um, a, a heavy recoiling gun, but it's not. It runs extremely smooth. And you know, you know, I'm a double action shooter. Uh, I love double action revolvers. And shooting this pistol, not being a striker fire, it is a hammer fire, but it is a nice, consistent single action trigger on it. And it makes it very, very smooth. It's probably the closest thing to having a 1911 right. in a nine millimeter polymer striker it, it, polymer it, pistol because yeah. with the thumb safety, with the grip safety. And the angle, the grip angle is 18 degrees exactly. set exactly like a 1911. It really is. The, uh, the triggers are really good. Ever since Smith & Wesson went to the 2.0 in the M&P mm -hmm, series, mm -hmm. the triggers have been really good. Real crisp trigger, short, real tactile reset. It does have a really good it's reset. It's audible, it. you yeah. can hear it. I tell you, yeah. the, 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 the equalizer, and the EZ, I really love that thumb safety on that model. If you're gonna have a thumb safety, I like it to be really firm and crisp. It's a positive. It's very it's, positive. Yeah. There's no mush in, mm -hmm. in the manipulating that safety. And it's the no. right size too. Yeah. It's big enough where you can easily uh, manipulate it, but it doesn't stick out so much that it's hanging up on everything. Exactly. It's ambidextrous. I really like the manual safety on this. Now it is offered in the, in the non-manual safety as well, if you prefer mm -hmm. that. Uh, the grip safety, it works in the opposite direction as a 1911, which is really genius because it gives you a lot more leverage. Correct. You're not going to, you're not going to not, not going to high hold it. it or anything. Yeah. So yeah. they did a really nice job on that. Uh, the equalizer, optics ready. It is. You it's know, future, that's, huh, that, that's, that's going to be the, the new uh, norm as everything's going to be optics ready. Um, a lightweight pack. You know, speaking of being ambidextrous and everything, you know, the, the mag controls, uh, is ambidextrous on this pistol too. So it is very conducive for both right and left-handed yeah, shooter. you can switch it. Yeah, yeah, it's very easily switched. Uh, the rail on it, you can put tons of accessories uh, on the front end of this gun. And we actually tried it on the range. We actually had some GoPro footage of a uh, Tinker Toy looking uh, GoPro setup. Yeah. And the gun ran fine with that much weight on the front yeah. of the gun. And it, it, it was amazing. It, as much as we were trying to get a cool shot, I was really gonna see how this is gonna affect the reliability thing. And it ran like top. Yeah. We put 150 rounds through this thing. So 100 rounds of full metal jacket, and 50 rounds of uh, hollow points. It ran smooth. No issues. Real flash None. shooting. I mean, I'll be honest. I'll admit it. When the original EZ came out, I was like, this, I, don't, I don't get it. I, you know, I was like, I right. saw it. Now we didn't see it in person. It was a, it was a you know, press release, a paper mm -hmm. came in. Looking at it, and like, oh my God, it's kind of big, but it's doesn't hold a lot of rounds, and I don't know about this grip safety. But not only was I very wrong about it, the gun is fantastic. It's been a fantastic seller. And Smith and Wesson wanted to say, okay, what's the, you know, what are the things that the original EZ had that 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 the market's kind of trending towards, and obviously more capacity and being optics ready. So they did that with the Equalizer. It uses the same magazine as the Shield Plus. So it actually comes with a 10 round flush, a slightly extended 13 round mag, and a little bit more extended 15 round. You get all three magazines. Now the one thing that they they couldn't do with the with the equalizer is do the the pull down tabs like your standard EZ. Mm -hmm. So to com combat that, they include one of the Maglula uh, magazine loaders with each one of these guns. So real easy to use, makes loading these double stack magazines breeze. Which everyone that loads double stack mags know, you know, when you're trying to get those last two rounds in it, you're burning your thumbs up. Um, but the, the mag loader really, really helps you get those final rounds in that magazine. Yeah, I, you know, the, the optics cut on here is the same as the shield, the RMS shield cut. So the same kind of interface as the, uh, uh, the Shield Plus has. So any of the little, the little narrow uh, miniature uh, red dots will fit directly on this cut. It's still a one inch wide gun, so it's very narrow. You know, I think a real niche for this gun too could possibly be for the, the guys who carry appendix. Yes, Especially yes, with absolutely. the thumb safety. It's a, it's a really safe way to be able to, to holster and unholster appendix. Generally an appendix carry, you can get away with a little bit bigger gun. You don't need such a small gun. Um, 
Now with the capacity and the optics ready, I think this could really be a player in that market. Oh, absolutely. And when you compare it to a standard uh, EZ, it is a little bit shorter in the grip. Uh, you know, you're talking about maybe a quarter of an inch to uh, close to a half inch shorter. And with that flush round, 10 round magazine, uh, gives you a lot of round capabilities. And then if you want to extend a grip from there to increase your capacity 13 to 15 rounds, then you're equal uh, to what the original EZ is. Yeah, so it, you know, it's, it is a, it's, it's a, it's a natural progression. Mm -hmm. um, I think the standard EZ still has a really good place in the market. Um, there's gonna be people that those features are not really as important to. And the standard EZ does set the bar for easy rack. It does. Now the, now the equalizer is, is similar to me. Uh, I think the, the pull tabs on the single stack mag could be something that could be really easy for somebody who has a, a hard time with it. And I'll tell you, like I said, Smith & Wesson, I think, had a lot of foresight developing these guns for the market who had, who struggled loading and, and manipulating a standard semi-automatic pistol. Yeah. Now, Dale and I, we, we've worked hundreds of, <laughs> of promos over the years. I mean, between the two of us, we've been both here almost 25 years mm -hmm. each. and. I tell you, we, it's always that struggle when you're at the counter and there's somebody who's maybe new to firearms or has limited hand strength and they want a semi-automatic, they don't want a revolver. And quite honestly, a lot of times a semi-automatic is a better option for them because it's easier to shoot. Yeah. It's, you know, it's, it's going to have less recoil than a, than a, say, a J-frame or something like that. But getting a gun for them to be able to use has is, is always been a challenge. And I tell you, we go through lots of guns and the EZ, Made it easy. It, it did. It, Here it, it is. Here's it really, the gun. And really so, did. kudos to Smith for really identifying that market and making a gun that's really perfect for it. And that's why it's been so successful. Oh, it's 100%. Uh, you know, with the cocking serrations, you can see on the equalizer, they're a little spaced uh, further apart. Uh, but you can still get a really good grip. And personally, I almost prefer that type of serrations on it versus the real tight knit kind of fish scale um, yeah. that's on the original EZ. I, I think we both agreed that we like this, these, uh, the equalizers. Uh, yeah, and it's uh, got front, front serrations as well. Yeah, uh, I so. like it too. Now, one question that we had, and I'm sure you might have too, is what, what about sights? You know, that comes with standard white three dot right, sights. Right. Um, obviously, there's some people who want to maybe want to change that. Now, the front sight is the standard EZ front. It's mm -hmm. the same sight. Now, the rear sight uses the same rear as the new M&P 2.0 metal frame gun. So it's kind of a unique sight. They had to change it up a little bit because of the optics cut uh, that's yeah. on it. So they had to push it back a little bit further, and that was a sight that Look, really with the popularity of this gun and the metal frame 2.0s, I know that the Amera Glows and Trigicons oh, of the world are going to support that fully. So yes. I think there'll be lots of sight options. Um, obviously, I think a lot of people are going to put a dot on it. I mean, mm -hmm. that's kind of the wave of the future. Um, all in all, trigger pull is fantastic. The safety manipulation is very positive. I really like it. Mm -hmm. uh, to me, that's probably the best executed thumb safety on any polymer frame pistol. I, I will agree with that. Uh, uh, I'll definitely agree with that. A lot of uh, magazine options here. You mm -hmm. got, it comes with a 10, a 13, and a 15. So you, you really can do whatever you want with that. Another thing we did test too was, is uh, this is actually my wife's uh, original EZ9, and she has a Simply Rugged uh, Cuda holster for mm -hmm. it, and the uh, the equalizer fits in that holster fine. It's perfect. Yeah. So with, I think- uh, Width-wise, they're identical. Um, Height-wise, when you're talking about from the rear sight to the, the grip, yeah, we're talking about maybe a half inch to a, a quarter inch difference uh, in height, it, just in grip length in general, but everything else feels identical. Yeah. Now keep in mind when it comes to holsters, if you do mount an optic, you might run into some issues there. So you have to you have to kind right. of you feel it out that way. But all in all, I think Smith and Wesson did a fantastic job on this. It's a they're listening to their customers of what they want. Mm -hmm. We want more rounds. We want optics ready. Well, the equalizer gave, gave, gives you that. So. I think it's pretty good. Dale, you got any it, last words? Uh, the thought? last thing, um, you know, I was super pumped about shooting this gun and for retail, it's, uh, it's under $600, uh, MSRP for under $600. Uh, I think it's gonna be a huge success for Smith & Wesson. I do too. I think it's a really good gun. I think this is not only for the person who needs easy manipulation, but this gun can really fit for anybody who's serious about concealed carry. So if you wanna check this out or any of our other Lipsy's guns, go to lipsies.com. Punch in, find a dealer in your area, and get one order today. Until next time, aim higher.